ولما جات رسلنا ناو حضرت لوط علیہ السلام ناو اباؤٹ حضرت ابراہیم دی اونلی انسیڈنٹ ناٹ دی سٹوریز لائک حضرت ہود حضرت نو حضرت صالح اینڈ اگین وی شیل ہیو حضرت لوط حضرت شعیب حضرت موسیٰ تھری آئی ٹول یو پری ابراہمک تھری پوسٹ ابراہمک اینڈ ہیئر حضرت ابراہیم از آلسو سچویٹڈ ان بٹوین بٹ وی فاؤنڈ ان صورت العلام اونلی حضرت ابراہیم مینشنڈ اینڈ صورت العراف all the six the three pre abrahamic era and three belonging to the post abrahamic era but there was no mention of ibrahim in surah al-araf here all the ibrahim has been mentioned here in surah al surah uhud but you know the style is absolutely different walamma jaat rusulna lutan and whenever messengers came to lut alayhi salatu wassalam see abihim he was perturbed to see them wazaqat bihim zarhan and you know He was distressed for them. Why? He thought because, you know, these messengers which were sent to him, they were in the form of handsome boys. Now, this wickedness of that nation was, he feared that now my nation will come, people will come, and they will assault them sexually. And I will not be able to, you know, stop them because I don't have any power. There are no momenin with me. Nobody. You know, believed in him, in the whole of the two cities. You know, he lived in Sodom. And that is why this act is called sodomy. It is, you know, related to, to, to that city. قَالَ هَذَا يَوْمٌ عَصِيبٌ And he said, oh, this is going to be a very hard day for me. وَجَاءَ قَوْمُهُ يُحْرَعُونَ إِلَيْهِ And now the people of his, these cities, this city came to him running. وَمِنْ قَبْلُ قَالُوا يَعْمَلُونَ السَّيَّاتِ And they were given to these, you know, these wicked things and these evil acts before that. Qala ya qawmi haa ulai banati hunna atharu lakum. He said, oh my people, these are my daughters. They are more purer for you. You should go towards them to satisfy your sexual urge. Now there are two interpretations. Haa ulai banati, your wives in your homes. They are just like daughters to me because, you know, The Nabi, the Prophet, and the Soul, he is like father to the whole of the nation. And you know, as the wives of the Prophet ﷺ are mothers. But the second thing is that maybe he might have offered his own daughters that I can give them to you in nikah. You bury them. If you are, you know, overwhelmed with some sexual urge, okay, the right path that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has opened for you. حَاُلَاءِ بَنَاتِ هُنَّا تَرُلُكُمْ فَتَّقُ اللَّهِ So fear Allah, must regard Allah. وَلَا تُخْزُونِ فِي ذَيْفِ And don't put me to humiliation regarding my guests. عَلَيْسَ مِنْكُمْ رَجُلُ النَّشِيدِ Is there not a single person rightly guided among you? قَالُوا لَقَدْ عَلِمْتَ مَا لَنَا فِي بَنَاتِكَ مِنْ حَقِّ Now look, see how much, you know, truth-loving people they were, how much, They said, you know that we don't have any right on your daughters. Then you very well know what we want, what we intend to do. You very well know. You know, you know, in a very sad voice he said, Would that I had power against you, or I could take refuge. And support from someone who was very powerful. Now this ayah, about this we have a hadith. The Prophet ﷺ said, يَرْحَمُ اللَّهُ لُوتًا لَقَدْ كَانَ يَعْوِي بِرُقْلٍ شَدِيدٍ May Allah have mercy on Lut. He had that support already with him. That was the support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you know at that time of distress, he was you know mentioning the support, the visible support or the material support. I have no companions, I have no, you know, people to help me against you. So in that way, he was saying, The Ruklin Shadid was there, and he was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They said, O Lut, we are the messengers of your Lord. They will not come, they will not be able to come to, near to you. Now you just, Go out of this city and before the ending of the night, a part of the night, you know, 
remains and you should go wala yaltafid minkum ahadun illa amra'atak and none of you should have should turn you know, to to these people should pay any attention to these people except your wife innahu musibuha ba asabakum surely whatsoever befalls them shall befall her also in the mawidahum subh verily the time of their promise is the dawn alas as subh bi qareeb is the dawn not very near so make haste now you leave the place falamma ja amruna so when our command came jalna aliyaha safilaha we overturned the city upside down wa amtarna alayha hijaratan min sijil and we rained over it the rain of baked clay now this is sijil this is a word adopted from persian into arabic sange gil sange gil is stones you know small stones because in deserts you know if there is some drizzling each water drop has some some clay with it and now it becomes sort of a grain and when there is hot, heat of the sun it is baked so these become small stones you know just like the bullets so actually this is sange gil this is persian but when it has been taken into arabic muarrab now it becomes sijil sange gil so these were actually the raining you know just like the hail storm it was the raining of these these baked stones of the desert manzud and they came one after the other and so as to heap you know they were heaped over the town and these towns you know mostly they were drowned they were situated both of them on the banks of the on the coast of the dead sea and then uh, most of it were drowned in it musawwatan musawwamatan inda rabbik and they were barked from your lord each one for each one of them wa ma hiya min azwalimin bi ba'id and what is here the township the ruins of those towns you know they were present till the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and these caravans trade caravans when they used to go to syria from hijaz they used to pass by the ruins of these towns and this town you know township on which this thing happened is not very far off from them wa ma hiya min azwalimin these evil doers you know the quraish they they also know the town where this thing happened bil ba'id 